So the last portion of this, I just wanted to highlight some of the management insights. So, you know, ERP classically has been really good at showing uh, or allowing you to enter in information, but never getting the information back out. Um, it's probably been the number one complaint that I have heard from any medical device manufacturer that I have implemented or supported uh, throughout my career. So with Business Central, there's a whole shift in terms of how we actually access data and interact with data. We're moving away from uh, these line level type reports that are generated to being able to interact with the data on demand within the system in a very quick and powerful manner. And in order to do that, there are tools that Microsoft has created for you that allow end users to control this story and to control the data and visualizations that they wanna interact with. So a couple of those obviously are going to be things such as Power BI, um, which is a powerful business intelligence solution that comes from Microsoft that natively integrates with Business Central. We also have the capability to do multiple data sources inside of Power BI so that you can take information from other systems that have classically been siloed and then bring that together to then show inside of the ERP system. And then lastly, we support capabilities such as dimensions and uh, dimensions and also um, ancillary information that you can attach to transactions. So that way you can track and view that as part of an integration to Excel or as part of the native reporting that's built into Business Central. So what I wanted to do here is just really quickly highlight just a couple of the capabilities that you can use to see your data or understand your data in more detail um, within Business Central. So first things first, on our particular screen here, obviously I've been interacting with it pretty quickly, but there are some areas that allow for me to interact and understand kind of areas or tiles or sections of data that I may need to have more or additional information about. More specifically, I've got tiles here that are telling me I've got four sales quotes that I need to process as part of my uh, role inside of Business Central. So even from the actual dashboard, when you start thinking about management insights on understanding what you're doing or interacting with your data, you can see here, for example, that I have a green uh, icon that's displayed on this particular tile because in my activities, I've gone through and set up visualizations for this that then say when I get to a certain dollar amount, I want it to show as green as a visual indicator that this particular KPI or metric has been met in a favorable fashion. So you can see on my sales this month that if it's above $10,000, it's favorable. Now I could change this too. I could have a high, medium, and low, kind of like a t-shirt sizing in terms of what that visualization is. So therefore, for example, here it's saying, you know what, Scott, you really got some overdue purchase invoices that you need to process. You better take care of that as part of your processing. So you can tailor this then to have those key performance indicators that are business process centric that allow you then to very quickly and easily get into that data. So if I click, for example, into my activities for sales for the month, I can then see all the sales that have actually transacted inside of the system. Now, the other aspect of this that's really powerful powerful from a management reporting capability is this magical button right here, the edit in Excel. The edit in Excel button allows for me basically to take any of these lists or forms and actually download it and then open this within Excel. And so I'm gonna have this run in the background for a little bit and we'll come back to it. But the net result is that we can then interact then with Excel to be able to do a lot of the reporting that you commonly do within your environment. So therefore, if you have additional information that you want to share with it, you can get to that information very quickly and easily within Business Central. So we'll come back to that in a second. I just wanna keep on going here in the interest of time. So the other aspect of this that's important, if I go back here and go down, we've gone through the tiles. We've gone through some of the visualization aspects. Are these charts and graphs that we now have that are exposed within Business Central as well? So these allow me to very easily and quickly see within Business Central, for example, my top five customers by sales value and then interact with them as well. So in terms of that customer name, Trey Research here as an example, I can click on this particular uh, value for Trey Research to get then to that detail and see that balance information for that particular customer. So a lot of these are actually hyperlinks that are actually enabled so that when I click on them, it's going to bring me to the supporting detail with it. And the last big one that I wanted to really show 
was going to be the Power BI reporting capability. So within Business Central, um, we have the capability to actually then link Power BI reports, which then help drive a lot of this processing as well. And so one second here as I run that real quick. So inside of Power BI, I'm going to go through and then expand this, and we're going to see then Power BI charts that are built into Dynamics 365. So here's an example uh, of an actual um, team scorecard that we have within Business Central. And in this team scorecard, what I did is I set it up where it actually looks at the Business Central data, so that way I can actually go through and create some charts and graphs to be able to interact with it. Now in this situation, I may want to say my total revenue by region as an example if I look at my north region you can see that power bi actually goes through and natively updates based on the schema that's defined in the background or the table hierarchy in the background to reflect those values so in my north region for revenue I can see all the states that we classified as north I have no idea why Mississippi is in the north region but hey that's just data right there. The net result though is that you can actually control your data and control your formatting to drive this. So North Region, if I say, take a look at a specific salesperson then, for example, Andrew Ma, we can then see some of that detail about Andrew and what regions Andrew's generally maintaining, how many customers Andrew has, along with the number of products and the gross margin he has as part of that look into that particular uh, salesperson or executive. And also, as you can see, down here, it looks very similar to that of Excel. So if I click on my industry margin analysis, I can get to st specific industries maybe that I'm interacting with. So maybe your medical device is tackling different segments of customers. Um, you can actually go through and then define that within Business Central to be able to then reflect that information. And what I can also do on here is reflect or interact with it very quickly and easily as well. So it allows you to really go through and interact with that on a very easy and fundamental way within in Business Central. And like I said, this is a user-based tool. So if I go on to the Power BI reports right here and I decide I wanna manage the report to make an edit or change to it, for example, I don't like the fact that it looks like a sales pipeline funnel as part of my actual chart that's here. I can go into the designer here, and as you can see, it kind of looks like pivot charts. I can go ahead and select this specific one, and I can say, you know what, I want this to be a heat map. So I can go ahead and change that to a heat map. I can actually go ahead and then save this report here. It's gonna go ahead and save, and I can click on OK, and now this particular report or this Power BI report is accessible for me to be able to then interact with, with that updated change reflected in the actual report. So one thing just to note, this is something that's becoming much more prevalent in every area of Business Central. And I'll just highlight that, for example, if I click on customers, I can actually then see from a customer perspective, as I go to Trey Research here, you can see Power BI reports are exposed here as well to get to my customer sales activity, and I can interact with it from this perspective as well. So a lot of different capabilities that we have to be able to help you report and look at your data and really understand what your business is doing as part of that processing.